Hello all and welcome to TDM Academy. This is RC number 33 of our free practice series VRC 100. Let's begin. So in the first paragraph author tells you that value congruence seems to be the most promising factor that creates positive work environment. So in the next paragraph, he starts explaining what value congruence theory is. If employees values are similar to companies values. So what uh, employees believe in is the same as what companies believe in. Easy communication flows between the two, which leads to positive outcomes, positive work environment. There are three types of uh, value congruence. There are three subcategories of value congruence. Person to company value congruence. So the values of a person, of an individual employee must be in congruence with the company's values. Second subcategory, person-person congruence, that is uh, values of colleagues should match. So I as an employee, my values should match with my colleagues employees, the third uh, colleagues values and the third uh, person's perception and colleagues perception congruence. So what I perceive my company's values to be should be the same as uh, what my colleagues perceive my company's values to be whether or not the company actually possesses those values. So the company's values, mission statement, policies, goals, etc. There should be congruence in my perception and my colleagues perception of that. So there are three types of value. There are three subcategories of value congruence. Okay. And the last two, that is uh, uh, not the last two. In fact, the first and the third ones are more important. That is person enterprise congruence, value congruence and person perception fit my perception and my colleagues perception of the company. So these are especially important for companies work environment, positive work environment and long term performance An easy passage to understand. Let's look at the questions. So this is an important theory, by the way, an important management theory, value congruence theory. The passage suggests that perceptual fit congruence would be most useful in determining which of the following, okay. Perceptual fit is the third subcategory PF and it is written that PF is especially important in establishing harmonious relations between workers and managers. And they also help. They also allow companies to discover the dysfunctional work relationships and clarify misperceived company policies and goals. So basically perceptual fit. Uh, congruence. If a company can identify the difference between its stated goals and uh, employees perception of company's goals, then it can clarify misperceived company policies or person uh, uh, or, or goals. That's uh, where PF congruence helps. Okay. So option A, whether a company ought to make its policies and goals more transparent, correct answer option A exactly what we just read, whether a company ought to provide sensitivity training for its management. Nowhere in the passage is it mentioned that the PF theory helps company identify uh, sensitivity issues among management and provide sensitivity training. So this idea is alien. Also, please note that the entire value congruence theory is about perception or, uh, or, or values that employees possess and that companies possess. Okay. Whether a company ought to create more opportunities for interaction among workers, tempting choice for some of you maybe, but interaction is never stated in the passage as a problem that uh, the value congruence theory aims to solve. Uh, it is the perception of company's goals that employees have. And if there's a discrepancy, if there's a gap between stated goals and uh, uh, or intended goals and perceived goals perception. If there's a gap between perception and reality, then probably uh, value congruence theory can help. But uh, interaction among workers is not one of the aims that it, uh, you know, the, the passage mentioned it solves. So this is again alien. Whether a company ought to address employee grievances more directly. There's no talk of grievances either. So this is also alien. Okay. 
क्वेश्चन टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग करेक्टली रिप्रेजेंट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन वैल्यू फिट कम्युनिकेशन एंड आउटकम्स फॉर अ कॉर्पोरेशन इन कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ द पैसेज सेकेंड पैराग्राफ वैल्यू कॉन्फ्रेंस हेल्प इट फॉस्टर्स पॉजिटिव कम्युनिकेशन विच अल्टीमेटली लीड्स टू पॉजिटिव आउटकम्स सो बेसिकली वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज वैल्यू कॉन्फ्रेंस प्राइमरिली लीड्स टू पॉजिटिव आउटकम्स थ्रू enhancement of communication and trust between organization and the employee okay so basically option a says lack of communication between employee and organization could be a sign of low value fit correct answer the best part about this answer is could be if if a good value fit if high congruence uh, encourages communication between employee and organization then lack of communication could be a sign of he is not saying option a is not saying it is a sign of but it could be a sign of low value fit that's perfect option b transparency in peer to peer communication brings about positive outcome it's not peer to peer communication it's employee to organization communication communication between employee and organization not between peers so this is again factually incorrect the policy statement of an organization enhances trust in the company and brings about positive results nowhere is it mentioned that policy state it is not talk of communication here an important factor is communication so there is no talk of communication in c goes out there is no way to enhance outcomes for a company without fostering employee trust again option d does not talk of communication passage identifies communication as a factor that uh, enhances positive outcomes so c and d are out question 3 which of the following was a motivation in the creation of the system of value congruence first paragraph gives us the answer what was the motivation behind this theory uh the goal is to discover what allows some companies to foster high employee morale while other companies struggle with poor productivity so the goal is to uh, understand what are the factors to distill the factors to understand the factors that bring about high employee morale that helps companies foster high uh, morale among employees okay option a a desire to minimize the liability of upper management a alien idea a desire to help companies to improve their internal harmony could be the answer what do you mean by internal harmony positive work environment first line identifies this as a goal much attention has been paid to identifying those factors that create a positive work environment and that has led to value creation theory a value congruence theory so which means a desire to help companies to improve their internal harmony or a positive work environment could be the answer a desire to foster awareness of factors influencing managerial success the goal was not to identify factors that lead to managerial success but uh, create a positive work environment overall so this is too narrow a desire to eliminate discrepancies between a company's goals and values of its employees well value congruence theory achieves this but this was not the goal behind uh, creating the system of value congruence so this was this might have been this thing to eliminate discrepancies between a company's goals and the values of its employees this might have been an effect of the theory but this was never the goal of the theory the goal was to create a positive work environment so option d uh may have been tempting for some of you but not the correct answer <clears throat> question is about the goal the motivation question for the primary focus of the passage is to do what compare a new theory of corporate performance to a discredited theory no discredited theory has ever been mentioned in the passage alien idea illustrating a new approach okay to measuring employee satisfaction okay through a detailed analysis of a particular case wait illustrating a new approach which is value congruence approach okay through a detailed analysis of a particular case a particular case in this case then would mean a company's example as author taken a particular company's example to show us to illustrate how value congruence theory works not at all so option b is also out alien the talk here is generic broad and not specific to a particular company challenging an old view of employee commitment wait author challenges no view 
author merely tells us or describes the theory, new theory, does not challenge any old theory. So alien idea again, promoting a new method, okay, of measuring the likelihood of corporate success, okay, by explaining its benefits, okay. So option D is the best available answer choice. Promoting a new method, which is value congruence of measuring the likelihood of corporate success. That's what he's doing. By explaining the benefits, yes, the benefits of value congruence theory are also stated in the passage. It creates positive communication, uh, enhances trust between organization and workers, etc. So nice passage, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the article was also nice. The questions were also easy. Hope you got all four of them right. Keep improving, keep practicing, keep learning. Cheers to learning, guys.